Hey guys, welcome back to Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. We're barbecuing the weird life, folks. Sometimes in life we get some changes at the last minute. I was, I'm getting ready to go on my way to the Iola car show. Well, I got a knock on my bedroom door. Not on my house door, on my bedroom door. I'm like, damn kids, waking me up. And then I heard this. Please go away, let me sleep for the love of God. All right. But he needed me for help at the high V store in Eau Claire, which is about 60 miles away. He had a barbecue going on in the parking lot, and his help didn't show up. So he's Scotty, I know you're on your way to Iola, but can you help me? So I said, okay. And I come up with some pretty good barbecue recipes that he was serving up down there, and it was some pretty good chicken. So I thought I'd share it with you. So what I got here is some high V chicken that we were using. Now I'm not going to bore you with the trimming part, but I will show you the recipe. You can put this on any grill you got, charcoal, gas, pellet, it don't matter. It all tastes the same. Alright, I'll show you how I'm putting this all together. You're going to want to make this. Take it from Scotty. This is an awesome barbecue chicken recipe that I haven't had in quite a while. Stay up. It's coming up next. Alright guys, there it is. I got the chicken all trimmed up. Wasn't too bad. There wasn't a lot of stuff on this Hy-Vee chicken. Looked pretty clean. Anyway, down in the hy vee parking lot, we were seasoning up this chicken with some hy vee spice that they had. But I figured um, there's only one spice I'm trusting this to. That's the Uncle Steve competition bird shake, folks. Alright, I'll leave a link below. This is amazing on chicken. Outstanding. No, I'm not on Uncle Steve's payroll. I just love Uncle Steve's spices. Alright, if you haven't tried it, I'll leave a link down below. What you want to do is season it. They want to go kind of, look at that beautiful color that's going to give this chicken poop. Alright, what you want to do now is you want to flip it, flip it good, flip it, flip it good. And you're going to season the back side. Like that. This is going to be awesome, folks. I haven't done this on video in a long time. And you're going to season the back side of this with the Uncle Steve's competition bird shake, which is truly amazing. Just like that. Uncle Steve's competition bird shake, folks. Okay, I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour while we prepare the uh, braising liquid for this. Alright, hang on, folks. I tried to get the recipe from him the whole time I was down there, being a jerk that he is. Good guy though. He finally called me up on my way back from Eau Claire when I was driving at 75 miles an hour to give me my recipe. Only thing I had in my car to write on was a McDonald's bag. And I'm driving at 75 miles an hour trying to write down everything he was saying. And hopefully I can read this. <laughs> Alright, we're going to throw this braising liquid together. Hang on, folks. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I got all the ingredients for the braising liquid. We have a half a cup chicken stock. Right here. We have a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, folks. Alright. Today I am using... The Blue Hogs Champion Blend. I wanted some Uncle Steve's No Name Sauce, but I ran out. Anyway, you want to use three tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce. Today I'm using Tiger Sauce. And you need three tablespoons of the W Sauce. Right here. I'll try to put the full ingredients list down below. And then a head of garlic. Now how many cloves are in this thing, chop them up, slice them I mean. We sliced ours, we put that right in there. And okay. then stir it all up. Wow, if you smell that folks, that smells excellent. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll take that chicken that's been sitting for an hour or so, it in. and then you'll take your chicken in that braising sauce and you will pour all this on there just like that 
Okay, there we go. And all this goes into the sink. I have to wash up my own dishes, folks. Anyways, we're going to take this out. We're going to throw this on the Pit Boss Lexington. We're going to run this at 365 degrees. Gets a little bit of bubbly, but not a boil. And uh, then I'll show you the rest of what's going on. Alright yeah, guys, Pit Boss Lexington fired up to 365. Like I said, you can use any smoker you want or any grill. It'll work on anything. I just happen to love my little Lexington. I'll use it today. It smokes. People are saying they got a Lexington that doesn't put out a lot of smoke. And I tell them that I try different pellets. Don't use cheap Pit Boss pellets now. I use Bear Mountain, Lumberjack, Store Bot pellets, like that. Offline, I'll get the smoking pecans are the best. All they do is smoke. But you can't buy them in the stores around here. Anyway, let's put that chicken in. We're gonna go about a half hour. Half hour and 35 minutes. And we'll check right back. Alright, All right, guys, half hour. Chicken is cooking. We're gonna put together the old type of a barbecue sauce type stuff. Going off the recipe that I wrote down at 75 miles an hour. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is one. This is the soft recipe. Two tablespoons of apple jelly. Now this is a half tablespoon, so we need four of these. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> there we go. About well, four of those. And then we need two tablespoons of your barbecue sauce. I say this is a half a tablespoon. I have to use four of these. All right. Then you're gonna need about a tablespoon of brown sugar. We're just gonna eyeball that. About like that. And then a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. Again, we're using the tiger sauce. Shake that up a tad. So that'd be two of these. One, two. All right, maybe you don't have to do everything exactly. A little over, a little under, ain't gonna hurt a darn thing. And one clove of garlic that I seem to forget to chop up. But anyway, you wanna put her in there. All right, now you wanna bring this up to a simmer. Get everything on fire. Right, we'll be right back. Kind of bring it up to a little simmer. Melt that jelly down. Release the oils from the garlic. You know, you don't want to use cold barbecue sauce. Anyway, this smells uh, delicious, folks. Now we're going to go out and baste the chicken with this when it's ready. All right. That looks good. All right, see you outside, folks. All right, guys, it's been <coughs> 40 minutes. We are bubbly away. Look at that, folks. Pull that out, it's hot. Known the man right here. If it flies, it fries, folks. We're gonna hit it with just the dusting. Just like that. Woo. Then you're gonna come back with that saw. That's where I wish my little Lexington had a front table. We're just going to baste it. Trying not to get the money shot here, folks. With that 
barbecue sauce we made with that apple jelly. We're still running at 365. In the parking lot, we didn't have all day to, to make some smoked chicken yet. We come up with this idea. We're going to close that down, let it go for 15-20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll put some more of that sauce on. Be right back, folks. Alright guys, it's been, been 15 minutes, folks. Boy, that's looking good, folks. Smells awesome. Bring that out. another 15 20 minutes we're going to check for internal temperature whoa now how does that look folks wow you see what i see folks that's plenty shot there folks what we got to do is make sure it's your safety oh yeah we're at 199 196, yeah, we're way over safe. 195 all the way around, I think we're good. We pull these off, and we'll let them rest. We'll take them out and test them. See you inside, folks. All right, oh my God, people, look at that chicken. See the juice coming out of that chicken? Now, that's some juicy chicken there, folks. And let's recap what we did. We uh, let it sit an hour or two with the most best shake in the world, known to man. Uncle Steve's bird shake. We made up that uh, that brine. That group. Anyway, you know what we did? The braising sauce, and then we hit it with that mop. I got my recipe. I'll try to type that down below and to show me more. 75 miles an hour with a top pin. All right, let's go in and taste this thing. You gotta be careful taking this off because that skin is pretty touchy, folks. Now, this ain't your ordinary barbecue, barbecue chicken, but it is good chicken. Let's try it out. There's plenty of juice in here, folks. Plenty of juice. Oh, mmm. Bring it up, folks. All right, guys. I am not. Hey, this is like an old Batman movie. Everybody's freaking. I'm not jiving you, folks, and I say this is the best chicken. I've had in quite a few years. Now, if not your charcoal chicken, now you can do this on a charcoal grill with some wood chunk, give it some good smoky flavor. Got plenty of juice there, folks. Running all over my cutting board. Go in for one more taste test, folks. Yeah, nice and juicy. I'm gonna pick it up and eat it. I'm trying to stay clean today, folks. All right, there you have it, parking lot chicken. If you don't know what a high V is, high V storage, maybe never heard of it. I'll leave a picture coming up next. That Uncle Steve's shake, that barbecue sauce and everything, just top notch. Hey, you gotta help a buddy out once in a while. Alright, thanks folks for watching. Ciao.